Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to this play review with me, Boy Thief one hd where we'll be taking a look at the 86-rated Scream Camaro. Now, before we do, as always, if you enjoy the video, please remember to hit that like button and the subscribe, of course, if you are new to the channel, as that will really help me out. And if I can help you guys out in any way at all, maybe you've got questions about the team that I used them in, maybe Camaro himself or just FIFA 20, then ask away in the comments as I love answering your guys' questions. So... We've seen that I've used him off the bench because I was doing a double review with Payet. He came on as a bit of a super sub, did very, very well. Now we're going to have a look at his attribute details. And as you can see, this guy was very, very stacked in certain areas. Good pace overall with 89 acceleration and 85 sprint speed. His shooting column feels much better than 81 would suggest. He's only really pulled back by his long shots and his volleys. Great attack positioning, very solid finishing. Obviously, you can upgrade these areas and when the boosts do change around a little bit expect this to be absolutely godlike his passing is a bit awful at present but this is one of the areas that will get upgraded at a certain time so you might want to move him back to cam when that does happen but at the moment i definitely use him as a striker good pace very solid finishing with good dribbling as you can see there lovely agility and balance very nice reactions ball control dribbling and composure i mean there's not a bad stat in that lineup at all then you come on to his physicality and while he doesn't have great heading he has superb amazing jump in there at 99 very good stamina strength is usable enough at 76 and good their aggression at 78 so now that we've seen those attribute details let's jump into some in-game footage and hear what i thought about him so my thoughts on the 86 rated gamero were that he was really usable very very solid up front good pace good mobility to him very nice agility and balance he also has four star weak foot which is always good in front of goal means that he can finish on both sides very reliable in the box when you give this guy a chance he is ridiculously overpowered yes he might not be the best from long range but this guy is all about playing on the shoulder of the last defender, getting himself in behind, and then when he's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, there are very few better at finding the back of the net. He is phenomenal, very, very good, very reliable, and just a fun player to use that obviously will have his stats changing. And when they do, I think you can really have some fun with where you play this guy. I think he will definitely bounce between being a very good striker and also an incredible cam. Because weirdly enough for me, he actually got me a lot of assists. He really did play in that playmaker sort of role at times where he dropped a little bit deeper than a striker might play normally. Got on the ball with his incredible agility and balance, very good reactions and ball control use his dribbling ability to create some space let others get in behind and then play some absolutely killer balls to get a lot of assists along the way i thought he was a really fun player very good in front of goal great pace great dynamism to him with decent passing an area that will definitely be upgraded on the switch over of the stats really nice physicality quite good in the air considering he doesn't have the best heading accuracy but his jumping definitely makes him powerful really good stamina and very good strength so if you're looking for a La Liga player to really come into your team, revitalise it, give it some pace, give it some clinical finishing and be very good on the ball. Gamero is a fine choice and with the right chemistry style on him, you can really have some fun. I always say with the screen cards having semi-permanent boosted stats that obviously will change, it's almost like having two chemistry styles on him. When you use the boosted and you use the right chemistry style on him and switch them about, you really can make an absolute godlike player that will play way higher than the 86 rating. That is why I've given him a really solid 8.8 out of 10. I think he's a little bit expensive for what he is, but hopefully his price will come down. And overall, if you can pick this guy up for under 100k, I think you are getting a fantastic bargain that will definitely prove very worthy of your team and prove very, very effective. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and peace.